So first of all, happy holidays, everybody. I hope you're having a great holiday season. Second of all, who else didn't like eggnog as a kid? Did you like eggnog as a kid? I did not like it at all. I think it was the egg part of the nog, the eggnog thing that I just like couldn't get into as a kid. But then, I don't know, it was like about 18, whenever I became sort of an adult, I started to love eggnog. It's my favorite holiday beverage, but it's typically not a low carb keto drink. But we're gonna change that today. It's gonna be delicious, it's gonna be easy, it takes less than five minutes to make, and there's very, very little cleanup with this recipe. So that being said, let's get in this one. Let's make some low carb eggnog. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is get out your food scale and a large bowl or measuring cup. I personally like to use my measuring cup for recipes like this. And the first ingredient we're adding is one and three quarters of a cup of some vanilla unsweetened almond milk. Next, we're gonna give our low carb eggnog its eggy flavor by using some egg beaters. The reason I like to use egg beaters is because they're pasteurized, so they're totally safe to drink raw. And if we used regular eggs, we'd have to cook them. So today we're gonna make things easy on ourselves and just use a quarter cup of the egg beaters. Next, we're adding some classic nog flavor by using some rum extract. A little bit of the stuff goes a long way, so for today's recipe, we're just gonna add a half a teaspoon. Speaking of classic nog flavor, we gotta spice things up. So for today's recipe, we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, as well as a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And then this is just gonna add a tiny bit of sugar and carbs to our recipe, but it's gonna add a ton of flavor and depth to our eggnog. It's also gonna kinda thicken things up a little bit too. And at the end of the day, it's only gonna add three net carbs per cup, so it's totally worth it. So for today's recipe, we're just gonna add a serving or eight grams of the sugar-free, fat-free vanilla pudding mix to our cup, and then we're also gonna sweeten the recipe up with some powdered or confectioner's erythrol. My personal favorite is Swerve's confectioner's erythrol. I just think it's the best, it dissolves so great. If you wanna pick some up, there's a link in the video description below. But for today's recipe, we're gonna add a tablespoon of that stuff to our cup, and then we're all set and ready to get out our whisk. Whiskify all those ingredients until they're well combined, and once they're combined, I highly encourage you to let your eggnog set in the fridge for at least a couple hours. It just helps all those spices infuse themselves in the eggnog itself. And then check this out. This this is what the eggnog ends up looking like. Hope you enjoy it, guys. So that is my low carb keto eggnog recipe. Like I said in the video, I highly encourage you guys to let your eggnog chill in the fridge for a little bit. At least two hours, overnight's better. The longer you let it chill, the better it will be. It's like, it gets better with time, guys. It's like a fine wine, this eggnog recipe. Just the spices, they really infuse a lot more in the eggnog itself the longer it sits in the fridge. By the way, I didn't mention this in the recipe video itself, but give it a little whisk before you serve it because the cinnamon and the nutmeg might rise to the top. So just whisk it a bit before you serve your eggnog. So that being said, if you make this, I'd love to see your recreation of it. So definitely tag me on Instagram. My handle is in the video description below. Also in the video description is the full written out recipe with the macros. So if you're looking for those, that's down there. And if you need to pick up any of the products that I used to make the eggnog today, Links to all those products are down there as well. Thank you guys so much for checking this video out. I hope you're having a great holiday season and I'll see you in the next recipe.